Hello and welcome to my third video on paper. So, this next stuff that I've got is specifically, it's, it's sold as being specifically for uh, marker pens. So, I'm not expecting a huge amount. I'm always a bit uncertain about this stuff because it, it, well, uh, let me just do, do the test and, I'll, 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 and I'll, you'll see what I mean. Right, so let's start off with our blue ball, blue pencil. It's quite nice. Quite silky. You should see, I mean, can you see, this is actually quite thin paper. So it's seven, only 70 GSM. So it's really, it's probably equivalent thickness to the to the uh, printer, like the copy of paper. The print paper, but as you can see, it's smooth, really smooth. The pencil does not want to get into this at all, it doesn't want to be attached to this, it's just too smooth. Nothing to because basically, pencils are pigments that are suspended in clay, so you need some sort of roughness to get the, the color down. Oh. That's a little bit harder, but I don't want this too hard in case I work harder. But you can see it's not, it doesn't want to stay on. It doesn't want it at all. So, yeah, so you need paper with a little bit of a, a texture to put this up. And this is, this is smooth. Smooth AF, as they say. Uh, so you're going to have a similar problem with the uh, pastels in that the pastels will go down on this paper without too much trouble but the minute I smudge them they're going to, well you'll see. If the paper does actually, Jesus, it doesn't want to go on. You see it doesn't really want to go on. And then it wants to come off an awful lot. It does not want to stay on there at all. I'm trying to find a soft bit where it's already softened. So yeah, so this is not this is not good for I mean obviously it's it's specifically called marker paper, so it's not going to be great for these sort of things. Right, so let's try it with the I mean I don't know if you can so, so this is uh, the Dale Around Essential GSM graphic series marker marker paper. Look at the writing. Don't look at the way it's written, but look at the actual strokes and what have you. They're very, very crisp. So that might give you an idea of what the advantages and disadvantages of this one are. Let's make a little bit more light on this. It's dark. Ooh, right. So, felt tip pen. For being a thin paper, you'd expect it. You expect a certain amount of bleed, da da da. So if you look at the, so this is the co copy printer paper. I'll let you have a look at that. If I bring that up, there we go. Now, can you see it's sort of slightly, like like we, the problem we have with the, the bulb mill paper, the gap, where it flared a little bit. This does the same, similar sort of thing with copy paper. Whereas with this, you need to turn the, Manual focus off on this for a sec. Can you see? Oops, see how crisp those lines are? I mean, I've not done it very well, but you can see there's virtually no bleed on those at all. Weirdly enough, something so thin, it's not particularly gone through either. So, if you remember with the copy paper, that was what we had with the copy paper. We had the copy paper. And we have that much bleed through, and we have this much fuzziness. Focus. There's this one. We have this much bleed through, which is pretty much none. That's just because this is dark and this is thin paper. And then look at that. Look at that gorgeous. I do like the nice crisp line when it comes to this sort of thing. 
don't worry, I'm going to do all the wet media on these as well, so that should be hilarious. So there's the red. And again. Oh, we have done it a bit. Uh, I did it a bit thickly. You can see there's a little bit starting to bleed through there. I think we should use it. Oh, I mean, crisp boy. I love them, the crisp. The crunch boy. There we go, yellow. Again, I've put it a bit, bit thickly there. Even where I put it thickly, it's only just starting to come. You see it? You see how pretty it is? Right, so the um, true trip test, of course, because this stuff is for marker paper, mark, uh, alcohol markers, so it's marker paper specifically for markers. I must stop saying that because it doesn't make any sense before. So you've got these boys. That's not a particularly good line, is it? But you can see it's come through. Considering what happened with the copy paper, and it's a similar sort of thing, in fact, if anything, it's slightly lighter than the copy, copy paper. Copy paper. Copy paper, I think, is normally sort of 80 to 90 GSM. But this is actually thinner than copy paper. But because of the way it's made, it does that. Well, let me see if I can get it a bit quicker. So even with that, even, even having done that, it looks quite thick. It only comes through that much. I'm going to test it by doing the pink one. So this, is, this is our envelope of testing. Test the envelope. I haven't seen one, is it? I will do it nice and thick with the pink one. Do you see, it takes a little while for the ink to actually... Did you see that? It was quite shiny for a little while. Look how smooth that is. Ah. And nothing came through. Look at this. Look. Look at this. This is the back side of it. Front side of it. <gasps> wow. It's like magic. I'm going to try again with the... The orange as well. Right, it's still over here, so it's, right, there's a no, apart from where it's got the bark over thing. I'm going to try again with the orange. Nice and thick. Takes a little while for the ink to soak in. It still sits wet for a little while. And look. Look, look at this. So you got this. Really nice orange. I mean, I'm not a big orange person, but you know, this is quite a nice sunny orange. And it looks like it's gone through, but you saw nothing came out. But look at that. I think possibly my blue, this one, is actually running out of ink. Yeah, where is it? How much I have to do it to maybe go through? It's still not going to be. That's pretty cool. That is pretty good, I have to say. That's pretty good quality. I'm happy with that. So, yeah, so I would be happy with that. So, obviously, so it is basically what it says on the tin. You've got yeah, a paper that will. Is, Thin enough that you can, for example, what you might do is you'll have your pencil sketching and you'll put your, maybe use a light box or maybe not just use a, I've got anything with a picture on it. Yeah, so you, you've got that, and it's thin enough that you can see through it. Can you see there? Thin enough so you can see through it to draw your uh, pictures. So you just put those down, do your line. You spend ages make getting your pencil sketch right, do the line work on one of these, colour it in and you get really nice colours. What can I say? This is just good stuff, good stuff. Uh, just to be fair, I also have, so that was the Dale Rowney. 
Uh, that was the Dale Rowney graphic series marker paper. And slightly heavier, I have got, only very slightly heavier, I have got the Winsor Newton Pro Marker Paper. Ah, just, just focus on it. Just, just damn you. Just focus on it. So on this one, you've got the Winsor Newton Pro Marker one. So this will be the one you'll find in lots of shops. It'll be by where the uh, Winsor Newton Pro Markers are. It's designed for Pro Markers, which is their own thing. So again, it's quite a smooth one. It's fairly thin, obviously slightly thicker than the, the Dale Rowney. Nice and smooth. Pencils. So this is going, okay, the pencil's going on a little bit easier than the last one, but it's not happy. Still not happy. Yeah, no, you wouldn't want to use pencil on this at all, but then this is not what it's for. So you'd expect it not to work, but just for completeness, and since I had the paper anyway, I thought, eh, yeah, why not? Uh, so. And again, with the pastels, we do not want to, we do not want to go on that. We do not want to. Okay. It's going to come straight off that end. I suppose you could if you want to see like a background that's kind of very light or what have you, you could use it, but be, beware when using pastels in conjunction with uh, pens because uh, uh, pastel will block up your pen, so it will go, get into the, the fibre of your, your felt tip. So don't, is my advice. Don't do it. Okay, so we've got blue filter. Let's see if the Lindsay Newton is as kind as the. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Okay, so we've got fairly. Actually, no, no, it's a... no, no, actually. So we've got the. So this is a Windsor. And that's the Dana. Not much in it, I would say. I'll oh, look at the other colours because I did that one bit quickly, so it's perhaps unfair. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit better, slightly less. Just a little bit. Not as crisp as I would like. But not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. It's yellow. Hello, yellow. Hello, yellow. Um, yeah, what do you reckon, guys? It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. This will be where it, we see whether it's good or not. So, uh, let's get blue boy out. So you've got the marker pen and this, okay, this isn't a pro marker, like this isn't their own Winsor Newton pro marker. However, it should work similarly. Yeah, it's pretty good. The back doesn't seem to have gone through. It's fairly crisp on my thing. Have a look at the pink and the uh, orange because they were I'm obviously running out of ink on this one. I must have to tie them, which is unfortunate. Yeah, they're not over. Yeah, that's pretty good. See, and again, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it actually took a little while for the ink to soak in. It sits on top and it takes a little while for it to actually get into the paper. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Sorry if that's hurting your eyes, guys. And I'm gonna do this one on the on the, the in, uh, envelope just so you can see if it does go through at all. And I'm just gonna, and also because this is orange and this is orange, if it does go through, I won't see it. Let's 
practically done. And ah, yeah, nice, crisp, dense colour. No bleed. Even though it looks like it should be. To be honest, I would just in case put something underneath because I'm paranoid about leakage. Which sounds worse than my mental to sound. Yeah, so yeah, so that's the, the Winsor Newton Pro Marker. Right, so these are the next ones I'm doing are both multimedia papers. Yep, I'm trying to see. So this is slightly less usual. Where, where my glasses are. She says, and it knows she can't wear her glasses because she trod on them. Right, so this is a multimedia paper. This is a, it's Claire Fontaine multi technique paper. From multi techniques paper. And I got this paper through winning a competition. So it's one of those, you know, click, like, blah, blah, blah. And you get a, I think I've got a, a little art box. So, you know, you know, like those subscription boxes you get. They don't do it. I don't think the place that I got it, I want it from are still doing them, which is kind of sad because they were quite cool. Weird box of stuff. And it was quite a cheap one as well. But I won a, a box of stuff. And in it was this paper. Uh, I think there was. Oh, there was a, um, a a bottle of really bright pink ink, uh, like the acrylic ink, uh, with a well, I can only call it an airbrush, but it's one of those. Um, it's like a pipe with a little tube at the bottom, so you put the tube into the acrylic or into the liquid paint or ink, or whatever, and you blow across, and it makes like a splatter effect. So it's a really odd thing to have, but I think there was like a couple of pens and what have you in there as well. It's just a right, nice little, I think the, the the price they were doing was like £15 a month or something like that, which for an art box is really good value for money. But in this instance I actually won it, so that's quite nice. So it was nice to win something. But this paper I really, really like, because it's quite heavy and you can do a few wet wet media on it quite nicely. But anyway, today we are doing dry media, so I can't get overexcited about wet media. I mean, I can, but not right now. So, pencils first, pencils. Again, because it's multimedia, multi-technique, it's a fairly, see it's much thicker than the ones we've been using so far, so it's much thicker. Uh, it's got a bit of, texture on it just a little bit so it should be okay for most of these things it might be a bit absorbent for the alcohol markers but i think it'll be workable so we'll start off with pencils anyway because you know that's what i'm doing so pencils go into that quite nicely because there's enough of a texture there to actually get the color off the pencil but as you can see it looks kind of gritty uh, because there is a, quite a distinct texture on there, so you can have a chance you can see or not. There you go. So you can see it's got it picks up the texture. So kind of like when you know when you used to be a kid. Oh, I don't know if they still do it or not. But when I was a kid, every so often the teachers would make us go around to like the local church and stuff and do rubbings, which sounds inappropriate, but it's basically get a piece of paper and a crayon and you just take an impression of things so you know of course being kids we just did all the gravestones and whatnot which was fun uh so yeah so that was that one you're gonna focus no you're not gonna focus without assistance okay try and be like that uh yeah so i've seen museums where they still have that sort of thing there's uh i think I was like last I think it was a county museum somewhere. I can't remember where. It might have been Dorchester. It might have been somewhere else. They all sort of blur into one county museum, so they all have the same sort of stuff. I like the when they have the 
the exhibitions of like Victorian stuff where it's just random stuff. It's, you know, and it's like, oh, this uh, donor donated this stuff from all over the world, and but he also donated his collection of creepy dolls and that sort of thing. And it's just, and, and it's just rammed. A good museum for that is the Pitt Rivers Museum. It's uh, unfortunate that most of its stuff is like most of the stuff in UK museums. It's, it's a little bit stolen, but you know, apart from that, it's very good because it's just cabinet after cabinet rammed with weird, weird gubbins, just odd, odd stuff. There's even a, a, a little la lantern made out of uh, the skin of a pufferfish. That's creepy, but cool. Has a whole selection of. I, I took loads of pictures of weaponry for my daughter because she. Right, let's try that again. So you can see it's picking up the texture quite well. Rub it in. And it doesn't go as far. Partially because it's, you know, got the texture, so it's going to get caught in there a bit more. So it, depending on what you want. If you like the texture, that's great. But and with it, with pastels, a bit of texture is always nice because it makes it look good. It gives it sort of dreamy sort of effect. Pastels are not my favourite medium, apart from the fact that they're really good for the rest. I'm doing these in the wrong order, aren't I? I should do the yellow in the middle. Pen, 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 pen. Got to pen, got to pen. Getting bits of. Stuff everywhere. Look at these bad boys. Now, felt tip pens. Will these bleed? Because this has a bit more of a texture to it. So it might come off a bit. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Have a look. Have a look in a second. Get a bit closer in a second to see. Oh, no. Just the yellow to ruin the true colour. Oh, that's all right. It's pretty good because it's going over. As I say, this is thicker paper, so it shouldn't bleed through. It doesn't at all, you see. It's completely. Da -da -da. Even quite, even though I did that quite heavily. It has bled a little bit across the paper. Uh, if I just. Let me show you. You see, it's just a little bit fuzzy on the edges. So not ideal. As you can see, if you've got like a, um, a pigment pen or something, you can go over that with quite clear colours. You can do that. At least you can do the outlines quite well. But it's still not ideal for that kind of pen. Uh, oops, should I? Infinity? I do not want infinity. You cannot give me infinity. Give me infinity or give me death. Actually, don't put it I don't want to do it. Not today. Not today. It's not a being dead, though. Uh, let's have a look at these alcohol boys. Oh, okay. That's a very different effect to what we have today. Let's have a look at this. Oh, yeah. That's soaking right in. Yeah, that's very fuzzy on the edges. I mean, it, the good colour, don't get me wrong, the colour is good. And the, the solidity of the colour, apart from the blue one, which as I said before, I just running out of it. Yeah, this is really sucking up the colour on this one. Ah, and you can see it's starting to come through. Can you see? Even through the thick. So this one is a very absorbent paper, which is great if you're going to do like uh, watercolours and stuff like that. Uh, not great if you're going to be doing alcohol models, just so. Let me see if I can get this to show you how fuzzy it is. So you can see the blue one. Can you see the fuzzy edges? That should be a straight line, and you can see the little. almost like little prickles of love that. This bit took you there. But that's also partly what's scrubbed over it. You can see, this is not by any means a perfect line. 
the colour's good. Oh, it's just a bit too absorbent for that kind of pet, for that kind of stuff. So I would say this is good for pastels and pretty good for uh, markings. I'm guessing this is more designed for uh, using a mixture of pens and, well, sort of line work and paints, that sort of thing. So, but you can use it all, as I say, so because you've got a quite nice effect here. These cut pencils are going quite well. Probably need to go over a few times though to get any decent colour on it, which is a shame. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. Um, that was the Claire Fontaine Multi Techniques paper. I hope it will. Thank you. Claire Fontaine Multi Techniques paper at 250 GSM or £115. This one will probably make you laugh because this is the Dale Around in Mixed Media paper. Uh, Dale Around in Mixed Media paper. Have a look at Mixed Media. At 200, also 250 GSM, but according to America, it's 169 pounds of paper. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see texture on it? A nice texture on it. If you like a bit of texture, it's got nice on the other one. Fair contain, not as much, not as nice texture. See, but it has texture, but it's a bit. This one's a bit more regular. That regularity. I don't know, I'm not in it. Right, okay, so, right, so, pencils, we start with pencils. Now that's coming up a bit better. Let's go a little bit larger first. So obviously the texture makes a different there with the difference there with the pencil. So it's a regular texture, it's come off. Too bad. Do you want a comparison? I think you'll have less trouble building up a colour on this one. I think it seems to be more. Yeah. I suppose it's very much a muchness, really. Not much in it. Equivalent to the last one, maybe slightly, slightly better, but only like I think that's far better. You know, it's not really usually. It's blue. It's blue. You just really see the texture come off in that one, can you? And rub him in, rub him in. Yeah, but again, it doesn't go as far because it's got more texture, so the so the colour actually sticks to the paper a bit more. Oh, that one really wonderful. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so that's quite nice. That's come out quite nicely. Fairly similar colour. Probably slightly less colour retention actually. I don't know. So much in it really. I'm not sure why this one's come up so much. I suppose it's got more ink in it. Anyway, so the wet, so the inky boys, to my inky boys. So I've gone over it a few times there. It's probably a bit unfair, but my, my bleach would get fuzzy around the edges. It's, 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 
really in Flazier? Flazier? Let me show you. This bit lady with the fuzzy around the edges. It wouldn't say it was any worse than the other one. Let's have a look. I don't know. I can't. I mean, you guys can tell me one way or the other. Just look at the. Make, make, feel free to have a little comment. Red Rouge. Rocha. Nice little sign. And the yellow. I'm in real trouble stopping myself from singing. And not even good songs. But you know, there are certain things that set me off. Trigger words. Oh, so. Can they bleed into each other a little bit? Can you see there? Between those two? Can you bleed a They're reaching out to one another. Thank you. And uh, last but not least. Shall I get rid of this blue one? Because it's not absolutely losing colour down to a green one. What do you reckon? I'll give that one to go on to the one that's got more colour in the yet. That soaks that Really soaks that in. So that's the, that's the green. And again, you can tell it's soaking in because it's, it's having trouble replenishing itself enough to. Oh, that's a horrible tree. At least I didn't put the green between the orange and I think that would have been unforgivable. Now, this one, well, they're both 250 GSM, but this one, you can see the colours come through, and I've put it about the same shape with a lot less bleed through on the day around it. Uh, it's also more readily available the day around as well. That's I'm not entirely sure. I've seen the Claire Fontaine's in a couple of places, but they've been more in specialised places. Um, easy, I mean, obviously you can get pretty much anything online. You can get them online quite easily. But if you actually go to a shop or you want to order from a local shop, your day around is going to be easier to get hold of. Or if you just you know, so. Uh, so yeah, so there's. Not a massive amount of difference between those. So I'm say, if anything, I'd say this one probably bleeds a bit more. The Dale Rani bleeds a little bit more. Um, if I turn it off, I'll show you. Oh, just you see, a fuzzy boy. He's a fuzzy boy. It's good, but it is bleeding, which is not ideal. Uh, comparison. So that's this one is now the Fontaine, the Claire Fontaine. You see, it is a bit fuzzy, fairly distinct. This one, a bit fuzzy, -er. although the orange is quite good. Hmm. But yeah, but it is quite thirsty. Both of them are quite thirsty for the, for the ink, they will suck up your ink, and of course, that will mean your ink will run out faster. Which, if you're using Copics, is going to be a big issue because those things are really expensive. I do not use Copics because I do not. I do not money. <laughs> I don't much money. I have to say, I don't have it. I don't know. I mean, Copics are great, but I'm not made of money. I'm not made of money. I'm made of cheese, probably. And on that slightly surreal note, I think it's time to end this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, and I will see you in the next video.